Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and today, instead of posting a 40 minute expose about another YouTuber to drag them and then be dragged in return two days later, I'm just gonna mind my own business and stay in my own lane and give y'all an update on my life. I'm having a wonderful day, I'm having a wonderful week, I'm having a good little month. It is almost June, which means we are almost halfway done with 2019, which boggles my mind. This year has flown by already so much. If you were in high school, if you're a graduating senior, congratulations if you've made it. If you didn't, <laughs> enjoy another year. I personally am kind of back in school. I am taking piano lessons. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't see all the updates. But I told you guys at the beginning of the year that one of my goals for my 2019 was to learn a musical instrument and I have never played piano, but I am taking a lesson every single week and I have a lesson right after I film this, so wish me luck. It has been really fun. I feel like I haven't been in something where I'm learning every single week and growing and developing and using my brain in that type of way, but I think my piano teacher is impressed with me. I've learned a few challenging things, I feel like I'm actually not terrible. The bar is low. And honestly, if I were taking these lessons back in high school, I would be ending my senior year with a senior recital. Maybe I'll do a video that's like officially my senior recital and I can like get dressed up for it. Would that be stupid? I'm going to do it. I'm gonna give you a little preview of some of the songs that I've been doing so far. And if you like it, maybe I'll do a senior <laughs> recital, a senior citizen recital. That's what it's gonna be. Okay, so I'm not that great, but I'm learning and every week I'm getting better. This one's called Journey by Camel. And that one, of course, feels very Aladdin. Speaking of Disney, I also learned this. Tell me if you can tell what it is. Beauty and the Beast. So that is my piano update. I never knew any piano before this year and I feel like I'm learning a lot and it's really fun. If you have always wanted to try something but you've been intimidated because you think that you're like too old or it's been too long or whatever to get back into it, you should just get back into it because this has been so nice. Besides piano lessons, I have been keeping busy. Last week, I surprised my boyfriend with tickets to a live concert extravaganza sing-along of The Little Mermaid. It was at the Hollywood Bowl and they showed the movie on like a big screen and there was a live orchestra and people singing. Leah Michelle was there as Ariel. It was like a really Really cute, sweet date. Honestly, I am like <laughs> such a good boyfriend. Though, I will tell you this, I got the tickets online and we showed up and they're like, excuse me, sir, these tickets are fake. And I'm like mortified because this was all a surprise for my boyfriend. I'm like, of course they are. It was all fine. We called the company. They gave me a refund. My favorite part of the entire Little Mermaid thing was I thought it was a sing-along. I guess it wasn't advertised as such. And thus a lot of people didn't know that it should have been a sing-along, but I thought it was a sing-along. So there I was singing Part of Your World. And just when I thought I was hitting the note of all notes, Notes, a little girl <laughs> in front of us turned around slowly and just like glared at me and I think that was my cue that maybe this wasn't a sing-along. What else is happening in my life? Well, I am really impressing myself, to be honest. If I'm gonna toot my own horn, I'm gonna toot it. I have like really thrived as a plant dad. Y'all saw my video where I made my plant wall and I was just starting. I didn't really know what I was doing, but all of my plants are really fucking kicking it. This little baby was like just one little sprig and now look at her. She is just alive, thriving and listening to me. I feel like she's like, hello, this bad boy. This one is a shower and a grower, honestly. It is too much. Anthony, my boyfriend, got me this one as a little gift and <laughs> it's the only one that's like struggling. I don't know why, but some days he's good, some days he's bad. Same. So the plants as a whole are thriving. I'm very impressed with myself and it's made me actually put plants all around my house, which I love. It makes it feel so fresh in here and I love it. It's just like, what else is going on in my life? Y'all remember when I did the reacting to K-pop videos back last year? Well, I went to a K-pop concert for the very first time. I brought my boyfriend and a couple friends and they had no clue what to expect. I was like aware that K-pop fandoms are a little bit intense and they love their things, but they had no clue what we were stepping into. And it was bonkers. We saw NCT 127 in concert. And I have to say, I was living my best life within the first song I decided, this is something I should be drunk at. And I'm not quite sure if I even saw like any other guys, let alone any other gays, let alone anybody that was above 21 that could be in line to buy a beer. There was never anybody in line for a drink. So we were living our lives. What else is going on? I'm still on the amazing race. I feel like I've been saying that for years now, but I am back on the amazing race. I went on for the first time in like 2016. I'm back on in 2019 for like an all stars season. And as of this day, I am still on. I haven't been eliminated yet. Me and Corey are competing all around the world. Here I am in Tokyo trying to figure out which shoe in this wall of 
12 shoes is made out of chocolate. Here I am in Laos learning the entire alphabet and performing it in front of a kindergarten class. And then I got to ride an elephant across a river and through a jungle in Laos. I mean, I literally was just like living it up. I got to fish for shrimp in Vietnam, which <laughs> is exciting. Here is me and Corey zip lining across all of the city of Dubai. It was literally so incredible. And if you saw last week's episode, you saw just how challenging Uganda was. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but you should watch the latest episode. It got intense. Tune in every Wednesday night if you wanna see if Corey and I make it all the way to the finale and hopefully maybe win a million dollars. Also, because it's almost June, it's almost Pride Month. The past few Junes, I've had stuff going on, whether it's like conventions for YouTube or traveling. And last summer, I was gone for the entire month of June for Amazing Race. I didn't get to go to any Prides and I was so bummed because I knew all my friends were living it up. So bitch, I am ready to get my life. I feel like this June is for me. I'm going to a bunch of Prides, hopefully see a bunch of y'all. If you see me, say hello. If I look like a mess, probably am. And speaking of Pride, I wanted to give a little shout out to my friend Raymond Braun. You guys have seen him in past videos on my channel before. He is one of my dear friends, somebody who I look up to and who has mentored me in the past on so many things. He is hilarious, inspiring, a great, wonderful human. Raymond has been working on a special project for a couple years now and it has finally come to fruition. It is a brand new documentary called State of Pride and I couldn't be more proud of him. It is premiering on YouTube so anybody everywhere around the world can watch it. It is basically a documentary about what pride means to our community, what it meant in the past, what it means in the future, and you might see some familiar faces in it like Troy Sivan. It honestly warms my heart to see it finally happening because he has been working so hard on it and I think it's something that the world needs to see. So if you'd like to find out more details about it, I'm gonna put all the details in the description below. So please watch it and share it. I think it's gonna open so many hearts and minds. I'm so proud of Raymond. I love you, Raymond. You are the best. I also, as of the day that this video goes live, I will be getting back from Cabo. I spent my Memorial Day weekend in Cabo. I'm filming this before I go, so sometime in the middle of when this goes up and when I'm filming right now, some shenanigans in Cabo will happen. Here's a little video right here that I will put out of context. I have no clue what it's gonna be. Hopefully this is footage of me having the best time ever in Cabo. Wow, look at me have fun. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a good life. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. What are you guys doing this summer? What are your plans? What's on the shenanigan list? Tell me what's in the calendar. Put it in the comments. I would like to know. Y'all got an update on my life? I think I deserve an update on your life. Okay, that's all. Have a good life. See you guys soon. Mwah.